When I picked up my Canon EOS R just over a year ago, I saw it as an opportunity to upgrade my camera body from the Canon EOS 5D Mark III and at the same time venture into the new realm of mirrorless camera technology. For me, as a digital content creator, the primary motive was to get the latest generation sensor, dual pixel autofocus and the highly coveted flip out screen. The focusing capability of the EOS R is what really attracted me to the camera and being able to use the touch screen to tap and focus on any object or part of it was what I really loved about the camera. As a previous owner of Canon cameras, I already had an extensive selection of EF lenses, which I loved and wanted to use with the new mirrorless system. And thanks to the RF to EF adapter, I've been able to use all of my lenses from the 17 mm tilt shift to the 51.2, the 85 mm 1.2, and the 135L series. Because I had all of these great prime lenses, I didn't want to upgrade to the new RF equivalents just yet, but I felt compelled to get at least one new RF lens, so the 35 1.8 RF caught my attention. It's the most budget entry-level lens for the new RF mount, coming in at only 500 to 700, depending on where you live. But the low price point wasn't the only attraction. First of all, it's a small and lightweight lens that makes it well suited to street photography and travel. The 35 mm focal length is great for interiors and landscape shots as well. But what's really interesting about this lens is that you can shoot macro shots at 0.5 magnification that lets you get as close as 17 centimeters away from your subject. Combined with the wider than usual focal length for a macro lens, it provides amazing opportunities to get up close and personal for many different types of photography from nature to food, products and still life. So in this video, I thought I'd showcase some of my favorite photos that I've taken so far with this 35 1.8 RF lens.
Thanks for watching. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, feel free to hit me up with a like and consider subscribing to the channel so you'll be notified of up and coming video releases. See you on the next one. Bye for now.